the gang's back again at CES 2016. We just stepped off the plane not too long ago, and we're at In and Out Burger. Request of Marco. It's been so long since I've been here. It was good. Didn't have time to film because I ate the whole thing so fast. But we got everybody in the building right now. We got Anthony over here chilling. And then we got this boss. What's up, guys? Look at this boss. And then this guy. Who cares about him? But we got this boss. Nah, no Get out of here. No he's a big. He's a. He's a big boss right here. Yeah. Not even the undercover like, boss. The super boss. The yep. CB. And then we got the, the two killers back over here too. Two killers. It's gonna be a lot of stuff going on this week. All right, CES House 2016. About to roll into here real quick. See what's going on. All right, let's see this. Huh? Like shit? Yeah. Doo doo? <laughs> doo doo. Is that true? <laughs> this is Danny. What and up? Today we're getting into the CES 2016 House Tour. House Tour. Tour. <laughs> That's mad racist and it no, was. No, it's not. And, and it was really accurate. <laughs> So this might be maybe CES House 2016, maybe um, we're debating it. We actually have a hotel on the Strip that was unexpected at Mandalay Bay, but this could be a little cool uh, pad. This is originally what we had. Um, we booked this earlier. There's a poker table here. I mean, this is pretty awesome, man. It's a pretty big place. And this is us coming in. We got a full kitchen here. I know lights are pretty dim in here, but you got kitchen. I mean, you got a pretty cool looking living room. Upstairs, tons of bedrooms too, which is pretty awesome. And there's also a pool back here too, which is kind of cool. All right, so um, for those of you that will never be able to or are curious about what CES is like, the night before, I guess they have CES unveiled. And it's like a freaking zoo in here. Look at this. Look at all these people and these vendors. It's out of control. So you have like people like D-Link and Kensington. I'll flip this around. And this weird guy over here, Marco, he is just on his phone. He doesn't care about this. But they have like Withings and like all these companies that may hit you up, like Lenovo, all these people. There's a bunch of booths everywhere that are just open. So these are the emails that you get as soon as you sign up for CES. They're hitting you up to get booth tours and all that stuff. That's here. A wild Anthony Esposito got the drinks. Gin and tonic. Let's Gin and tonic already? Hey, let's get some drinks. Let's go. There's always only one plus about these things. Free booze, you know what I mean? Free alcohol. And some food too. Probably make you poo-poo later, but you know, free food. Alright, so this clown, Marco, this clown, thought that thought that Dave Lee and Max Lee were related because of the last names. Straight racist. Look, look, look. Racism I in the house. I just looked at their badge and then I looked at where they're from. And they're like, okay, they're not. Not all Asians look alike, Marco. Shut up, Dave. All right, so interesting uh, meal tonight. We're eating Japanese. Back with the crew again. Of course, Marco's gonna beat everyone. We got Armando over there. Carlos in the house. Dom. And the homie, Dave 2D, Dave Lee. We're definitely going back to Sushi Roku this week. He asked me to Because uh, we had probably one of the best meals there last year. It was an awesome meal. First day of, I guess, official CES. Boss man back here. I don't know who that is. But we're about to go to the Huawei event. I'm uh, gonna see some new stuff, Mate 8, tablet, all that stuff. I'm gonna do all the coverage vlog style this year. All right, so here we go, going into the Huawei press conference. Um, we're actually tagging along with the Huawei fan group. <laughs> fan group in the building, look at this. <laughs> we get some exclusive uh, treatment here. We get to go in first, I'm sure there's probably some VIP seating here and there, so that'd be kind of cool. That's right, walking into Huawei together. Wall fans only. This is the expression that you have to have. Yeah. Wall fans only. 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 Here's the posting guideline. Red wristband only. Exclusive. Red wrist. 
Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag red wrist. Red wrist. Red wrist. Red, red wrist. wrist all day. Red wrist. Red wrist. Oh, they got food. This is the day I became a Huawei fan. A Huawei fan. This is random Dave Lee turning into a Huawei fan today. You know? Oh shit, it's about to get real. It's about to get real. It's about to get real, son. You know when they got the energetic music going on, they got the video, you know it's about to pop off real soon. Get them, Huawei. You know, you know. Damn out, baby. Copy screen. And you also can to trace to crop the heart. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> and share all this neat great stuff. So we designed a Huawei MediaPad M2, a new style of sound. So here is the hands-on situation here, all the media shooting. Uh, you can see there's like a ton of people here. Everybody's trying to get their hands on time. No, you're good, you're good. But what they so don't know is I already have a Mate 8 in my hand, so I don't really need to be here. She has to but see her hands I'm actually looking for Ash. What? Sony menus are shit. I don't think so. Either. Sony menus are garbage. We know this already. Ash Taylor, the best ever. Best ever I'm, in the game. I'm, I'm standing next to a legend. Best in the game. Everybody that's watching this, he's, he, everybody that's watching this, he's better than you. So be done with it. All right, so people are talking in the background and stuff, but this is the new uh, MediaPad M2. You see here, this has got quad speakers, which is pretty cool. See on the bottom there, I don't know if you can see so well, but four speakers. And of course, it's impossible because people are talking above that, but. All Looks like it's got roughly around a 1080p display. It seems pretty responsive so far. 13 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front camera, and the premium version has 64 gigs of internal storage. But this is an IPS display. Uh, looks thin, and it's really light too. First impression, this is pretty cool. So when I get my hands on this, I will actually do a full review on this, but um, this is just show floor stuff, obviously. But this is the MediaPad M2. So I'm gonna go take a look at some other stuff. I have a Mate 8 in my hands right now, so I'm gonna do a video separately on that. But I wanna go take a look at this lady watch. All right, so here are the new um, the lady, lady watches, I guess? Yeah, this is really cool. So obviously this is a smaller version. Um, looks really nice too. You can see the crystals on here. I know the, uh, the lighting kind of sucks in here, but you can see these are really nice looking. I can't wait to get my hands on these. Um, internally they look the same, but uh, definitely for women, this is a genuine choice here. This is pretty awesome that they're gonna do this. So there's some more uh, versions over there, but these are the untethered ones, which are nice. But uh, I'm digging the look on these, big time. They look awesome. You know my wife's gonna want one of these big time. I mean, this is unbelievable. I think women will love this watch. I mean, it's crazy how many different styles they have. The Swarovski stuff is really awesome. And I mean, I've loved the Huawei watch anyway, but I'm actually really impressed with this new line of watches here. Because I think the, for the first time, they got the female uh, demographic right. They did it right. <laughs> Just went to the Intel press conference. Man, it was a standing room only. It was crazy in there. Uh, it was packed and it wasn't really mobile related. I guess there was some chips and stuff announced, but uh, and they kind of touted some gaming and stuff, but it was very vague. There was nothing that was actually announced. So I'm gonna go back to the booth probably in the next couple of days and see what's going on. Pretty uh, interesting weather too outside. It's really it's wet. It's raining in Vegas. Yeah, raining in Vegas. But we're gonna go to Pepcom right now and catch up with some of the, uh, the other guys and see what's going on tonight. So hopefully you're watching that Intel video that I've just released. Um, some people are having playback problems. But actually, by the yeah, by the time you see this, which could be yeah, it could be uh, forever actually. But by the time I release this thing, uh, that video would have already been out. It's a mass unboxing. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was cool because it was the first uh, like live unboxing I did. I, I lab mic'd up and did it live, and 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Oh, we probably had the worst uh, lift experience. So me and Marco, we walk into that. It's a it's a van, number one. Number one, Lyft has probably, I'll say the worst, uh, like when it comes to standards of cars, okay? But we but walk it's, in. It's, it's, it's people's own cars. Yeah, yeah, so it's their own cars. So you go in and it smelled literally like, I think, like mayonnaise mixed with coleslaw, mixed with a little bit of piss. You know, you just dribble a little bit in there and it stunk, man. It was horrible smelling. And I'm just like, trying to like hold my breath like this. So we just got off the high roller. It was pretty awesome. We're taking some pictures with the Mate 8. Let me say that the Mate 8's got a pretty awesome sensor on it. Of course, it's got Sony sensor, which Marco hates, but the Sony sensor is dope because that's what's powering his iPhone too. He can't be hating. But it's it's a pretty solid camera so far. I'm really enjoying the Mayday camera though. For real, no joke. So if you're curious what this um, what this looks like, that little pod that we were just in, I didn't post from there or I didn't do any kind of a vlog from there because we were doing some stuff with the Mate 8 in there, but the views from up there were pretty damn incredible. It was really cool being up there. Uh, that 30 minutes flew by really fast. All right, so madness, that is CES really day one. Um, I guess it, the CES started for us a couple days ago, but this is actually official, I think, start of CES. It's a freaking madhouse in here, man. It's hard to walk. We had to bust through a bunch of people that were out there and just kind of get an idea of how many people here. Look at this. I mean, it is packed. It's just jam packed, wall to wall. I mean, it's unreal. There's tons of vendors here. Um, if you've never made it to CS before, this is actually my second year, and uh, thank God it's a lot more relaxed this year, but it's pretty crazy. Look at this serious rig they got going on over here. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they can't do that by hand. All right, so more and more booths everywhere. Um, there's people all over the place. Companies everywhere. So Marco is at his, uh, at his little heaven here at the NASA booth. You know, they got robots and all that. So he's over here talking to some people and taking a look at the NASA booth. Pretty awesome, man. It's all about going to Mars. What's up? The gang right here. The gang. End game. Right. The vlog game has been very spotty throughout CES, but we're finally chilling after a little bit of work. Um, I still have yet to cut my Huawei video, but we're out uh, gonna eat some dinner. Of course, I'm hanging with the gang over here. We got the boy Quinn Nelson again. Look at how tall he is. I gotta angle it up so I can get him in frame on a wide angle. And then you got Marco over here. <laughs> like, look, look at the look at the difference. It's not that much. Dang. <laughs> and then you have Armando. <laughs> Armando, look. Oh, even bigger. Hey, next to next Quinn. Dude. I'm almost there. One day, one day, one day right? All right? Let's see the real height. Let's see the real height. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Just, I got the spiky hair, though. You know? so, so just know if you meet Quinn Nelson, he's a big dude. So you will, yeah, you will be surprised. It will scare you a little bit. Then you got Joel over there. And then you got Mr. Look at, who's that over there? Carlos? He's the man over there, man. The man. Carlos the man. If you don't subscribe to Carlos, I'm going to come and kick your ass. What is it? Shut up your YouTube. Mobile Carlos. Mobile Carlos. You don't subscribe to that, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. Make sure we, we got to hit 2,000 by tomorrow. That's right. That's right. So everybody having a good time over here. We're at Sushi Roku. This was uh, the same place that we ate at a year ago. That kind of changed the game. We became friends. and So we got everybody here. Of course, we have Ash here again, which is nice to see him again. He broke away. The legend. Legend, yeah. I, I, I hate him because he's so good. And this guy, I just hate him because I hate him. And then I hate Carlos too because he's better than me. And I hate Armando because he's better than me. <laughs> so I hate Quinn because he's better than me. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I'm the worst here. 
Yeah. I'm the worst here. You know, you're Tom. You created my name. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Kevin and Tech Ninja in the house. What's up, everybody? Tech Ninja in the house. So we finally get to chill. We got his pork belly going right here. So good, man. Look at that. So good. It's spicy, but it's good, man. You know, I was worried I was going to see you for 10 seconds like I always see you. I've seen like three times, like, all right, bro, we got we to hang out, and then I don't see you. So I'm glad we could uh, get that, chopping. That is true. I saw him last night. I was like, I got to go. I got to go. And the last time we met was the same thing. So like, got to so, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to get out of here. So it was like busy, busy, but we finally get to finally get to unite and chill. So that's a good thing. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, what do you leave? I'm always most Tuesday. impressed by a Panasonic and Shark. Dang, so he's here for a while. I'm leaving Friday. Shark? Yeah, I'm going to find my girl out, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's yeah. coming out. Shout, shout out to his girl, though, by the way. Shout out to Sarah. Uh, so, we got the uh, Kobe beef over here. And now you're cooking it on. Uh, this is unbelievable. Man. Look at this. Oh, he got the lighting right. Look at that cooking now. So now it's being cooked over uh, like wood. Last year it was on uh, hot lava rock, so this is kind of cool. Yeah. Alright, the Kobe is on right now, so alright. Kobe beef. Was it good? No. Alright. Alright, well I'm going in right now. Bro. Bro. I don't know if you're cool. Give me a little piece, bro. Trust me. You're like right. Wow. Since my wooden thing wasn't working, they hooked me up with the rock over here, man. That's what we need. The hot stones, man. That's what we need. So that's what I got. This is so dope right here. So dope. Yeah. That Kobe. So we are at Samsung. Um, I had to come and look at this fridge, man. The Galaxy No Fridge. I had to come and look at it. So you can do Pandora. It's got built-in speakers, tune-in radio support. You can even mirror what's on your uh, Samsung television on here as well. So there's gonna be a secondary screen for that. For that. Well, that's pretty cool. You can uh, do TV all your grocery shopping right through there as well. Um, right inside here. So every time the doors close, it takes a snapshot of the inside. And that goes up to the cloud. You utilize the companion app while you're at the grocery store to kind of remind you what you need to buy. Um, this is one of the coolest things I think, the morning brief. You can kind of set this up any way you want, but details traffic to work, what the weather's going to be like. If you're utilizing sleep sense technology that we have as well, it'll give you the breakdown of how your sleep was for the night. Uh, the kids can drop pictures on there. You can leave notes for them. You can set reminders. Synchronize everybody's calendar all in one place. And kind of see it in the snapshot. Yeah. Quite a bit. And it's, uh, you know, not even ready for market yet. It will launch this year. Um, but with it being Wi-Fi enabled, they're going to continue to update and evolve it. So is, is, is it functional, the UI, right now? So right now, on this particular one, no. But there is one that is Okay. So what is it running Android 5.1 right now? Uh, Tizen. Uh, it's actually run Tizen. Yeah. <laughs> Tizen. Well, you're the exclusive. Tizen. But it is compatible with Android, um, iOS, as well as uh, Windows. Wow. Okay. And it's got and it's and it, it says that it works with like a uh, smart hub and things like that, right? Yeah. So, so right now, uh, it smart has things. A controller for smart things. Okay. So you can actually utilize this to run the routines of that program. Yeah, that's cool. So the same application that you'd be utilizing on your phone is integrated into the bridge as well. Wow. 